Hi, my name is Stephen Phillips. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is a little bit like deja vu. I have um, managed to break my Samsung S5e LCD screen again. So here we go. Replacing my cracked LCD screen again on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e 10.5 inch SM T725. To carry out the LCD screen replacement, I um, looked on the eBay first and eventually I found a company on the web called Phone Parts, PP Phone Parts, um, who actually had an LCD screen in a stock as below in the picture, um, which took about two days to be received, um, cost £157.19 with free postage. So that's pretty good, I thought. I used the same equipment again as before, like the hairdryer, Remington Power 1600, plastic spludgers, pry tools, a plastic suction cup to lift the LCD screen off when you've nearly got it unglued from the motherboard, and a blower brush to get little particles off. Um, from the um, glue which I cleaned up at the end. Just a few pictures of uh, b b pry tools, um, a brush, suction cups, etc. My sketch from 2020, which gives an outline of where the critical parts of a tablet were, um, and just to be careful on the left hand side where the ribbon cables are. Um, I actually started on the right after removing the SD SIM card tray. Um, I managed to get the spudger along that area and to start um, removing the LCD. Today I'm going to have to try and repair my tablet again. The LCD screen was broken earlier in the week. Um, this is about, in 2020, I had the same problem when I broke the screen. So I'm hoping I can repair the screen again. So let's see how I get on, really. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to do much video of this. But um, I may show you a few bullet points as I go along. Okay, okay, the case is removed and the screen saver. Let's start, carry on. Okay, I have uh, removed the um, SIM card holder and the um, SD card. Now I'm uh, using my trusty Remington 1600 hairdryer just to warm up the screen a bit. Okay, I'll carry on with that. Okay, I'm still at it. I've managed to get the spludgers starting to go around the screen now. The LCD screen, that is. I'm using my Power uh, Remington uh, 1600 hairdryer. Just got to be patient as I, and don't go into the motherboard. So just try and keep it to the screen itself, which is, which is already damaged, as you can see the damage there. Okay. I'm going to persevere and see how I get on. Yeah, it's lifting up more now. So I'm going to use a pulley in a minute, my little suction uh, sucker, which I've got here, which I used last time to try and pull the screen off. So let's carry on. Okay, I managed to use a suction cup uh, to pull it up. So. It's looking good, so let's get this screen out and hopefully start putting a new one in. Just a reminder that actually um, pushes in, the actual screen pushes into that connector. So um, just 
So it's that connector there and that connector there. So it just needs to be prized off it. it sometimes it fell off last time I replaced this screen. Anyway. Right. <clears throat> That's the first stage over with. So um, let's get this new LCD screen and I hope it fits. Okay, my um, new LCD screen arrived today, um, delivered via APC. I got the LCD screen from um, Phone Parts, uh, PP Phone Parts. As you can see there, a genuine Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e 10.5 inch um, SM T720 LCD. I think mine's a TC T725, but I think they're all the same screen from what I remember there, so it should be okay. Um, the price was £157.19, pence, inclusive of VAT. OK, um, here it is, in a fragile box. Um, well, box marks fragile. Um, uh, get a pack in here. Well, I'll be useful, that pack in, I think, for some other item. And here it is, in here. So I'm going to... It's all, it's all well wrapped. So PP Phone Parts. Well, I was going to go on eBay, then I found this company, PP Phone Parts, which I'm in hoping they do the business. Here it is. All right, I'm going to open the box. I'm not going to do it as I'm opening the camera. Though. Just to mention the details on this um, unit, which is actually unsealed by the look of it, which I've not opened it yet. It's got a Samsung Tab S5e GH97-23184A. Um, and in the yellow tab as well, Made in Vietnam. Okay, let's carry on. Here is a new screen. It looks to be an exact match of the old one. This is the old one here. Yeah, so it's looking good. Just to say, the glue from the old one, you can still see it stuck to the old screen. I mean, obviously this one, you've got these tabs you have to pull off to fit it. And that's got like a sticky glue underneath. So it's sort of like self-adhesive, which makes the, makes the job a lot easier. I'm going to remove um, little bits of glue left behind on the tablet motherboard um, body um, just to make sure it um, helps the new screen um, attach easily. Uh, okay, here we are. Well, it looks like I've got most of it off. Um, not sure whether that mark there or was it some some, some liquid and may have gone a little bit in there but anyway i was going to change a battery but it looks like a lo lot of messing about to be honest especially since it's an old tablet you know you, you may ask well i dropped it in 2020 and now i dropped it in 2024 how did that happen well i think i put it on top of a kitchen tray or something on, on the kitchen worktop and it must have just been finely balanced because when I looked I suddenly the, the tablet stopped playing and I found it was on the floor with a screen all um, nearly or half destroyed I mean it took me ages to turn it off luckily I managed to put my cold in and I switch it off so at least the battery's off this time not like last time when the, the tablet was on Anyway, I think I also blame a guy at the shop who kept messaging me from WM News. The name is Mo, actually. You may know him. I'm sure you do. Seems to know everybody. And anyway, he said, oh, come on, come on, let's put some Halloween decorations up. I just bought loads of new Halloween trinkets to sell. I mean, it's just like a big kid, but that's another story. Let me crack on.
Okay, I'm just taking this off now, which um, covers the glue, the glue sort of side, self adhesive strips on there. So I'm going to do all that and um, be ready to place back on the tablet and obviously plug back in the um, LCD screen. Okay, I've got it. I had to clip, clip the actual LCD back in, as I mentioned. Took all of these um, little bluey type strips off. Quite a few of them. Make sure you take them all off. I've still got the screen saver on. Um, just a little bit tricky. Trying to balance it to get the screen in position and uh, align the LCD um, uh, plug and socket. Okay. Okay. I've um, just powered it back up. Wow, I could be back in business. So it's um, September the 12th, 2024. Hopefully I won't be doing it again because the tablet's getting a bit dated. Um, it's thinking about it though. Let me see. Hopefully it's going to boot up okay. Maybe it's... Um, Maybe it's in shock and turmoil over what happened to it last time. Okay, let's wait. Right, let's um let's see if it goes to my unlock going to my unlocking pin. I'm hoping this is a success a uh, success. Anyway, hopefully this will help someone Replace air screen. That's about it. Thanks for watching. I did actually forget to put the um, SD card stroke SIM card holder back in, which I did afterwards. Anyway, thanks for everyone who managed to watch until the end. Goodbye.